আসসালামু আলাইকুম দিস ইজ খন্দকার মার্সুস অ্যান্ড অটোমেশন ইঞ্জিনিয়ার ইনক্লুডিং অল দ্য পিএলসিস আই এম এক্সপার্ট ইন সিমেন্স পিএলসি টুডে আওয়ার টিউটোরিয়াল উইল বি হাউ উই ক্যান ওয়ার্ক উইথ এস সেভেন থ্রি হান্ড্রেড পিএলসি ইউ নো এস সেভেন থ্রি হান্ড্রেড অ্যান্ড এস সেভেন ফোর হান্ড্রেড ইজ দ্য মডুলার পিএলসি অফ সিমেন্স You will learn from this video how you can work with Symmetric Manager software and PLC SIM software. This video will show you short tutorial on digital and analog programming including hardware configuration. For starting the Symmetric Manager software, click on Start, Symmetric and Symmetric Manager. Now the Symmetric Manager software is open. Click on File, New Project Wizard and a file will be open. Click on the CPU. The CPU we want, just click on that CPU. I am just clicking the CPU which has the DP port. You know the DP port is working for the Profuas. So I am just click the DP port supported CPU. and just after clicking this click the next and just first of all you have to click the obion cycle exec execution and you know that obion is the main block of the semantic manager and then click the ladder if you like to program with ladder just click the ladder and if you like to click with STL or statement list just click the STL and click the next and give a name of the project you can write down the name of your project like power plant or like oil and gas or like it see and then, then click the finish now uh, your program is ready and this is the name of the CPU this is the name of the project just press the plus button and again press the plus plus button and this is the CPU just click the hardware double click the hardware the hardware configuration will be open just it takes some times okay now you see the first one is the CPU then the DP and here you will add input output module you can add analog input module digital input module and all the modules and the analog input module digital input module all the modules is here click on the Symmetric 300 click on SM300 and from here you can just drag and drop any of the modules if you want to just add a digital input module click here and select and drag and drop this to your hardware configuration window this module will be added this is your digital input module and digital output module so you can add as much as you need the input and output module again I am just drag and drop another input module and that is analog input module and from the below you can just select the address if you double click you will see that start is 0 and end is 0 that means this module will work from 0 0.0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 up to 0 0.7 and again from 1.0, 1.2 like this so this is just the start address and this is the end address now for adding the profuas click the DP right mouse click add master system and your profuas is added so 
I will just show you how you can add unit 1 and unit 2 with the Profuas system. Just click on the Profuas DP and then click on the additional field device and then click on the compatible uh, Profuas DP then click ET200 and then click, click the IM module. Just drag and drop it into the Profuas. Click the OK. Now your module is attached with the Profuas system. Double click here and rename it to unit 1. Hit OK. In the same way, add the unit 1 to. Okay, your unit 2 is also 1. Add it. So, your hardware configuration is okay. Your unit 1 and unit 2 is ready for adding the module. You can e add as much as you need unit input output module to the unit 1 and again input output module to the unit 2 in the same way that I have added to the main CPU. Now come to the program. For the programming, click the plus button and click the block. And with this block, you see all the programming blocks is listed here. First one OB block, then FC block. Click insert new object. Click the function. A new block is added. Click the ladder. If you want ladder, click the STL. If you want statement list, click the FBD. If you want function block diagram. So I am just clicking the ladder and OK. Now our FC2 function is added so double click the OB block and I just have to add the function block inside the OB block because this is the cycle execution block so for this click the plus button and you see all the function block here drag and drop the function block inside the OB block okay the function block is added inside the OB block. So now we can program inside the function block. So we just click the simulation button to start the simulation. And you know this is the simulation screen. In this screen, this is the CPU, this is the stop button, this is the run button. If we click the run button, the CPU will run. If you click the stop button, the CPU will stop and here the input module output mo output module and the analog module now click the function block for start programming okay now click on the title network title you can add a title like unit 1 you can also add a comment if you want then click on the power rail and click a normally open contact that means input and give that as i 0.0, .0. <coughs> and add a relay coil like q 0.0, .0. Okay, now we'll download the program to our PLC and we'll simulate how we can see the works. So first of all, you must show that the CPU must stop before downloading the program. As if the CPU is running, you cannot download the program. So first of all, stop, stop the CPU. and then hit the download button now the CPU is running for show online mode click on the glass and the CPU is running and you know the i0.0 .0 is off so q0.0 .0 is off so if I click 
on the simulator 0 button and it will certainly on the output address 0 and it will on the output 0 button now we will add a analog input address for just clearing we just add a comparator the comparator is greater than comparator so here two value first of all i have given the analog input address i w256 and if the IW256 is greater than the lower value, the comparator will be 1. So give the second value, like just uh, I can give the value 1000. So if the analog input value is greater than 1000, then the relay coil will be 1. I am just giving the address of the relay coil to Q0.0. .0. Now this is the analog input address and this is a constant value. Okay. Now run the simulator again. the PLC is running so this is the PIW value just I give the IW value and I you know I am our address is IW256 so here also 256 if I enter a value we will show the value inside the simulation if I give the 500 and enter and you will see the 500 value is inside the PLC and our value must be more than 1000 to turn on the Q0.0 so it's now 1000 now type greater than 1000 I can say 2000 so 2000 is greater than 1000 so now output is 1 and in this way we can input the analog address and you can use the comparator Now we will show you how the scaling works. You know, for a sensor like temperature sensor or pH meter or pressure sensor or load cell, any other sensor, the sensor will send a analog value to the PLC input module, like 4 to 20 milliampere or 0 to 10 volt value to the PLC input module. But suppose it you have a temperature sensor the temperature sensor minimum value is 0 degrees celsius and the maximum value is 100 degrees celsius so for analog value 4 to 20 milliampere the sensor will send 4 milliampere when it is 0 degree and sensor will send 20 milliampere when it is 100 degrees centigrade so for this we have a scaling function for the function click the fc105 scale converter just drag and drop inside the programming network the error is showing that already I have added a scaling block okay the scaling block is added this is the FC 105 so first one this is the input address from this address the scaling function will read the input and then this is the higher limit so what is the higher limit of the sensor I have said our higher limit of the sensor is 100 degree centigrade so I have just given 1.0000 and e to the power 2 you know 1 into e to the power 2 means 100 
and the same way we just give the lower value so for the lower value e to the power 0 you know something to the power 0 is equal to 0 and 0 into something to the power 0 that means 0 so this is the higher limit this is the lower limit and we will keep the output of the scaling function to a uh, function that is md20 m for memory and d for double md20 just a memory address and we will keep the value to this address okay now we will simulate again and we are just giving the different values so if we give give here 2000 and then suddenly you will see the 2000 and you know our maximum value of the analog value is 27648 so if we just give 27648 and we will see the maximum value is 100 and you know or when we send the 20 milliampere from the sensor the equivalent analog value will be engineering value will be 27648 and for 4 milliampere the minimum engineering value will be 0 so if we click here the 0 and the output scaling value will be 0 in the same way if we just write any other value we will get the value and this is the explanation of the scaling function I think you you hope and enjoy the video and the scaling function is one of the important function of the Siemens if you like this video please click like and share thanks for watching the videos